Well, especially in that particular part of the country, because you've got um, humid and moist air coming off of the Gulf of Mexico, and then you have colder, drier air that comes in down from the plains, and they are known for having some of the most destructive weather that we have nationwide. And I don't typically start off our newscast talking about national weather, but I think today definitely deserve it, deserves it. So the Severe Storm Prediction Center has already carved out a section of the country where they're looking at enhanced risk for severe weather. Mm. They're calling for long track tornadoes. Yeah. And those are tornadoes that can be on the ground for more than 100 miles. They're talking about four inch diameter sized hail. <laughs> and they're already telling you that this is in the forecast. So if you are traveling to those locations, if you have family and friends in those locations, this is where we do our due diligence, right? So let's take a look at what's happening. And this is your national satellite and radar. And when you look at it on the onset, it doesn't look so ominous, does it? Well, let's tell you what's going on. Here is a look at our convective opportunities. And what that means is the deeper the color, the better the chance for severe weather. And it is honing in on parts of Oklahoma and Kansas, which is Tornado Alley, right? Areas that are not uncommon for this type of weather. And it happens, of course, in spring, where you have the most variability in your air masses. So you got a warm front, which means ahead of this cold front, you got all this warm and moist air coming up from the Gulf. Back behind it, you have cooler air. But get this, remember the storm system that we had that came through Saturday and gave us showers and thunderstorms and snowfall? Well, remnants of that same system as it trekked from the west towards the east, how now, now it's meeting up with warm and muggy air, and it is setting up what could be a very destructive day for parts of the plains. Here's another look at it. Atmospheric moisture coming in, feeding in right in front of that cold front, that displacement of air, it enhances instability. It can create shear, which is a change in direction of the wind with the height in the atmosphere, and unfortunately it can lead to tornado development. Now our forecast is completely different. Uh, today is going to be nice, but as we get into the weekend, things are going to start to warm up. And I'm showing the weekend forecast because these are the hottest temperatures we've had all year. Near 90 coming in for the valley this weekend, near 80 coming in for the foothills, 90 coming in Saturday for, for the delta, and near 90 on Sunday. San Francisco, you're around 72 on Saturday with the upper 60s on Sunday. And for the Sierra, you'll be near 70 degrees just after picking up close to 2 feet of snowfall. Talk about the weather being all over the place. I like to call it a jokingly non-committal uh, because it is non-committal. <laughs> it doesn't know what it wants to do. So Monday 71, that's the day, plenty of sunshine. Tuesday 75, Wednesday 80 degrees, Thursday 86 with plenty of sunshine. And then by the time we get to Friday, we'll hit 90 degrees. Saturday we're looking at 89 degrees and Sunday we'll be looking at 90 degrees as well. Now bear in mind the hottest temperature we picked up so far is 89 that was set back on April 22nd. So we've picked up some warm days, but we're looking at hot temperatures ahead. And keep in mind, if Sacramento is looking at 90, they will, there will be parts of the valley floor that will be about four to five degrees higher than Sacramento. So last weekend, we had 58 degrees on Saturday. We had 67 degrees on Sunday. And now we're talking about near 90 degrees for the upcoming weekend. But yeah, so severe weather definitely likely for parts of the midsection of the country. And for us, we're bathing in sunshine. We look great. All right, yeah. Tracy, thanks so much. Yeah.